What's good everybody? Welcome back to another vlog from Ramen on Wheels, aka the Romobile Son. This video is about the pros and cons of having or owning a scooter. There's always good and bad things. And I'm gonna tell you what those are for owning one of these bad boys. Coming up. So you want a scooter, but you wanna know what's the bad things and the good things? Cause you probably hear a lot of the good things, but not so much the bad things about owning a scooter. So I'm gonna break it down for you. I'm gonna do a, a do the pros outweigh the cons or do the cons outweigh the pros? Right there. We're gonna we're gonna go head to head on those things right right now, real quick. Okay. So hands down, everybody know this. The first pro to owning a scooter is the fact that they are that they are inexpensive, to say the least. I mean for a brand spanking new scooter, it can range you anywhere between eight to six thousand plus dollars thousand dollars right so between eight to six thousand depending on the brand we all know this compared to a car where you're gonna pay for a brand new car anywhere between 12 to 20 plus thousand dollars and I know not everybody can just shuffle out like 20 grand like that for a ride but three thousand dollars it's a lot easier. You know what? I had plans to go somewhere, but since I don't know how long I'm gonna be talking, so I'm gonna just like roam and go anywhere right now. Let me see, can I get over? Here? Yeah, I want to see what's back this way. So, the next pro is that insurance, man. That insurance is so beautiful. I pay a hundred dollars a year not a month a year for this insurance you know basic accidental insurance stop sign Shauna you better stop girl well a car you're gonna pay anywhere from a hundred oh I can go go Shauna go acting all slow and stuff but anywhere from a hundred to depending on how old you are and gender, like if you're a boy and you're like 16, can be up to like $500 a month. So, whoa. Ugh. So a hundred to $500 a month for your car. Stop sign, Shauna, pay attention. You see, this is what happens when I explore new areas. I don't know where I am. I think I'm gonna get over. Now the next one is, it's easy, affordable maintenance on this scooter. Oh, I know where I am. Oh dang, this is the complete opposite direction I wanted to go then. But easy, affordable maintenance on your scooter. Something go wrong with your scooter, you, you're looking at, if you go to a mechanic, no more than, okay, no more than like a hundred, couple hundred bucks to fix it, parts and labor, it all just depends on what, what's wrong with the scooter. Or you can fix it yourself, which is gonna cost you grace, uh, greatly less. So much less if you try to fix it yourself. And it's pretty easy to learn. It's not hard. It's not rocket science. It's just scooter mechanics. Oh man, dang, I messed myself up. Now I gotta go back. Okay. Unlike if you owned a car, you're, you're looking at like four or $500 every time you have to bring it in. Okay, okay. I got you, I got you. Next is that versatility, right? 
scooters are so versatile, right? Whether you live in those urban areas like I do, that city, or you live in a town, the countryside, I mean, it works for all these places. Hold on, hold on. I think I'm doing a lot of pros though. I need to switch over to those cons for a second. Hold on, cons need to see if they can catch up on them. One of those cons is those weather conditions, son. I mean, you get caught in that rain or if it's snowing. I don't get a lot of snow out here in Texas. We don't really have that issue, but I mean, you get some random freezing days where it's like, dang, man, it's cold. My hands are all turning numb on me. Yield, son. Thank you. And then not all scooters, another con, just to let you know, not all scooters are highway and freeway friendly. Just to let you know if you didn't already know. Come on, y'all gonna turn, turn. If you gonna turn, turn. And another thing is that, nah, he coming up too quick. You gonna go, go bruh. I need to get over, thank you. <laughs> get over again uh, scooters tend to like storage space when compared to cars you know what I'm saying <gasps> yellow light go 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 Woo. okay I'm still on that green side scooters oh no I gotta get over okay Ooh. oh snap some kind of accident happened over there that's not good. We'll go down over there. Some kind of accident. That's what you call rubbernecking. Okay. Stay focused. <clears throat> so scooters lack stores compared to cars, right? If you want to go like, like true grocery shopping, you can't really do that on a scooter. But we do tend to have more storage space than mo motorcycles. But that is something like that is an easy fix with, uh, like you get you a saddle bag or something. Another one of those cons is if you plan to drive, which hopefully you guys know this by now, you plan to drive anything faster that goes faster than 30 miles an hour, then you have to get that pesky M license which can be a real hassle and you have to shovel out a few hundred bucks well, and but in you know in some states you can just take the actual test which is still like 50 bucks and skip the whole course thing but yeah hold on Help. Everybody's going on this red light. I don't I don't understand that. People always want to go on red and stop on green. Okay. Another thing is that you don't have that protection that you would in a car. See, he has the four doors, the windshield, the airbag, the seat belt. We got none of that, son. None of that. Hello, how are you? We have none of that. So, it's more dangerous out here on those streets when you're on those two wheels. Hi. <laughs> A pro. Here we go. A pro. Now this isn't uh, sit, uh, what do you call that? Statistically proven or anything like that? Huh? <laughs> Thanks. No idea what she said. But yeah. 
it's, but yeah, this isn't statistically proven or anything. But police are less likely to stop you on a scooter. I mean, be for real. Have you ever heard of the rising number of police tickets for scooters? For real? For real? No, you haven't. Have you been driving down the road and seen a police officer pull over a scooter? Now, you guys, you go. Go ahead and go. You might have been pulled, you're welcome. You might have been pulled over by a police on a scooter. Bruh, don't be blowing at me. What, you wanted me to hit the dude? Dang, people so impatient. I'm gonna uh, park real quick. Finish, finish my thoughts because otherwise I'm being thrown off. Give me some of that view time. Okay, so let me finish my thoughts real quick. But yeah, you never, I don't think you ever just seen a scooter driver. If you guys ever even notice scooters driving around the city or wherever you live. But you won't see police pulling over uh, scooters that often, unless you're just blatantly in their face, like popping willies, uh, swerving in the side of the lanes, you know, lane splitting, stuff like that. Speaking of lane splitting, another pro. Here we go. So when the zombie apocalypse happened, right? And all that traffic is like bumper to bumper, you can just split in and out of lanes on that scooter, son. Yes. Yes, if, the, if you buy a scooter for no other reason than that, buy a scooter for the soon to come zombie apocalypse. Boom, boom, that just happened. Your eyes have been opened. Your mind has been blown. But on a serious note, Scooters are just so convenient, so convenient to have. I don't know which which one. I, I haven't I haven't like went counted in my brain. But like, who's winning right now? Is the pros winning or the cons winning? I can't see. Haven't counted. Do you guys have any? Hold on. Let me let me let me do what I came here to do. Do you guys have any uh, other pros and cons? I'm distracted. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going right now. Hmm. I know I want to go over there, but I don't want to just sit in the line and talk and hold up because, you know, I can't do two things at once. Well, I mean, I'm driving and talking. Well, no, I'm not driving and talking. I'm paused. sitting here because my brain. My brain is marshmallows. Mm, oh, here we go. Because I really want the cons to win. Scooters be dope. Which, actually, there's a con right there. Some people believe out there that scooters are not dope. That scooters are lame. <coughs> that scooters have no style. And I'm here to tell you people, you suck. Because that's not true. Scooters are all that and a bag of chips. You see that phrase? That phrase never went out of style, just like scooters will never go out of style. So, boom, in your face. And another pro is that scooters are automatic. So unlike Zamo motorcycles, we don't have to do all that shifting gears and stuff. What? What? You want me to keep coming at you with those pros? You want me to keep coming at you with those pros? I can't, cause I can't think of one right now. Let me do what I got to do, and then maybe I'll come back and talk some more. Hit me up in that comment section below. Check out that like button. Subscribe if you want to. Be a part of this Romy crew. And I'll catch y'all later. Ramen Shauna is out. Deuces!